Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This week I wanted to share four products that I use to bring shine to my silver hair. These products also do help me to fight frizz. I'm going to show two on my curly hair and two on my hair when it is blown out. I tend to use different products in each of those cases, so I wanted to share those. If that sounds good to you, please stay tuned. We're going to start by doing some time travel and I'm going to show you some footage from two days ago when I had my hair blown out. Okay, today is Friday. I washed my hair Tuesday night, so by the time we get to tonight, it'll be a full three days since I washed my hair. On Tuesday night, when I was done blowing out my hair, I did finish up with some of this Sisley Precious Hair Oil. I've talked about this on my channel before. I think I even said that I probably wouldn't repurchase. I have to tell you, I did. I repurchased it. I love this hair oil. Wednesday morning, I did reapply a few drops, so I'll include a couple selfies here of what my hair looked like after reapplying this in the morning. And then since then, I didn't apply anything on Thursday. Today's Friday. And so what I'm going to do is, on my blown out hair, I'm going to apply some of this precious oil on this side of my hair. And then on this side, I'm going to apply some of this Goldilocks. This is the signature serum by the brand Goldilocks. This was sent to me in PR. It was part of a package that included some purple shampoo, this which is a small bottle of the serum, and then a shampoo and a conditioner. I really like the line overall. I'm not really using their purple shampoo anymore, but I have really liked this shine serum. So I'm going to apply oil on this side and the Goldilocks serum on this side just so you can see the difference on blown out hair. Okay, this is about three or four pumps of the oil, which is quite a lot, but my hair really drinks it up. All the way to the ends. I love this oil. <laughs> I really do. It smells so good too. This one smells botanical and maybe a little bit of bergamot oil. Okay, so this is the side with just three days worth of normal wear and tear on my hair, and this is the shine that was added by the hair oil. Can you see the difference? In my video about hair oil, I did talk about this oil and did share that it includes some silicones. I know there are people out there who always avoid silicones. I don't. If you use a shampoo with some surfactants in them, that will remove silicones. If you're not using that type of shampoo, then silicones can build up more readily in the hair. Since I'm using the right shampoo for silicones, I do use them. So this Goldilocks product includes some silicones as well as coconut oil. The scent is more, um, I guess a little bit fruitier. It has a vanilla scent and it also includes some rose water. This has been a great product. I'm almost through it, which kind of surprises me, and I would consider repurchasing this, even though I received it in PR. Okay, can you see how that has added some shine to my hair? It's taken out a little bit of the frizz. So this side has the Goldilocks, this side has the Sisley Precious Hair Oil. If I were to compare the two, I can feel this side with the Goldilocks product still feels a little bit like the product is slipping on the hair a bit. It still feels loose and present. The Sisley product seems to have soaked into my strands more fully. I think the Goldilocks product feels just slightly heavier, just a little bit heavier, just a little. Not in a bad way, it just, you know, when you have two things to compare, that's how it goes. In terms of the scent, they're both really beautiful. This one almost takes on a little bit of like a grapefruity scent. And this, mm, like I said, I get bergamot oil, but just a little bit more of like spa, spa scents. But both feel nourishing in my hair and I think both do help amp up the shine. Okay, we are back in the now. Last night I washed my hair just normally. I used the Aveda Cherry Almond Shampoo. You guys know that one's my favorite. And I used the Diva Curl One Condition Delight. I do understand there's quite a bit of drama surrounding the Diva Curl brand. I was pretty ignorant of that. I do 
have a giant, the giant size of the One Condition Delight, and I do like it. That's all I can tell you about that. If you've had trouble with that brand, you know, go ahead and stay away. For me, that's been a pretty good conditioner. So I used that last night, and then I put in my hair the Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. You can get this at Target. This is a really good product for my hair type. I'm almost through this bottle. I've repurchased this many, many times. I put enough to, you know, lightly coat all of my hair, which, you know, I do have quite, I do have quite a lot. So this is what I used. I went to sleep and I woke up like this. My hair is looking pretty shiny overall just because it's clean and it's healthy, but I wanted to show two products that I use to restore shine and reduce frizz when I wear my hair curly. The first one is this Shine Spray by Pattern. This is Tracy Ellis Ross's brand and it is a relatively new product. I've had this product just a few weeks and I've used this much of it. This represents maybe five or six applications and I'm going to show you how I use it here. So the instructions say to hold the bottle 6 to 12 inches from your hair, lightly mist in quick uniform strokes, and reapply as desired. This product is in a spray format and one of the ingredient callouts is castor oil, which is known to help promote healthy hair. So this is where I'm starting with and I'm just going to spray it here so you can see and then you'll be able to compare to the other side. So I'm going to hold this 6 to 12 inches. It has, it has a floral scent. I think it's pretty lovely and it doesn't seem to stick around very long. I don't think it will compete with a fragrance if you are someone who likes to wear a perfume. I wear perfume every single day and I don't love my hair products to offer a strong scent. It's something that will prevent me from repurchasing a product if the scent is too strong. I found that this product does a little bit more than just add shine. I feel like it does add a sense of oil weight to the hair, not in a bad way. It can help prevent frizz, and I do think it is nourishing. But if you don't have curly hair, you might find the oil content in this product to weigh your hair down. If you're like me and you have textured hair and it tends to love oils and love that kind of moisture add-on, you might really like this product. I do find that it provides incredible shine. I'll see if you can tell the difference. I can feel it here. This I've liked. You don't need much to get a good effect, and I think it's most useful for me on day two or three. The next product is a cream-based product, and this is from Jones Road with Hervé Claude. They call this the Universal Hair Balm. And what this is, is a product that comes out like this, it's a cream, they call it a balm, but it's really more like a cream than anything. And this product is suitable for use in both wet and dry hair. And I have found it to be most useful for me when my hair is dry, which is kind of a big surprise. I have used it both ways. When I use it on my wet hair, I don't really see a major difference between this and other products like the Miss Jessie's. But when I use it on my dry hair, I have noticed that it is really effective and useful in restoring some, you know, curl definition, just general sense of moisture, and ultimately some shine. So this is how much I put in, and I'm going to add this just to this half of my hair. So I'm gonna spread it out all over, and I'm gonna gently kind of squeeze it in. I don't wanna rake it through just because I don't want to break up my curls just yet. This product has more of an herbal, kind of spa-like scent, a little more vegetal. I think, like I said, the pattern is more floral, maybe even slightly tropical. This is more herbaceous and green, like dark green scent, I guess is what I would say. So this is also, I think, heavily nourishing to the hair. So this one is also really useful for me when I'm on day two or three. I've slept on my hair a little bit, it's been windblown, and my curls are starting to look a little bedraggled. I find that I can put this hair balm in and it kind of just puts it back in order and reduces some of the frizz and adds shine. I don't think the shine quotient on this product, the Jones Road and Hervé Claude product, 
I don't think it's as powerful as the Pattern Beauty Shine Spray. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but these products I do think add a lot of healthy nourishment to my hair. The last thing I'm going to do is just hit the crown of my head. This is where the frizz can get the most noticeable. This is where my hair gets out of control the fastest. And I'm going to go back to this Pattern Shine Spray and just let you see how that looks. So I'm gonna turn my back. So that's it, those are four products I have been using in my real life to combat frizz and to add shine back to my gray and silver hair. I'm curious to know if any of you have tried these products or products like them. Again, we tried a silicone-based serum, a hair oil, a shine spray, and a cream balm, all of which have been really useful for me. Do you have any products that you like for the same purpose? If so, please let us know down below in the comments. You know I love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.